Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onen Guzman and our topic for today is Theorems on Arcs and Course for Grade 10, Quarter 2. Let's have our first theorem. In the same circle or incongruent circles, congruent R's have congruent chords. Also, congruent chords have congruent R's. So let's consider our circle. So as we can see, uh, RTE is congruent to RSP. Then we can say that line segment TE is congruent to line segment SP. Or should I say, the chord TE is congruent to chord SP. Also, if TE or line segment TE is congruent to line segment SP, then RTE is congruent to RSP. For our example number one, let's consider the illustration on the left side. So, find the value of X. So take note that if RTI is congruent to RTM, then line segment TI, or should we say chord TI, is congruent to chord EM. We can say that RTI is equal to 75 degrees from the given. Then line segment TI or the chord TI is congruent to RTM which is the same as x. So therefore, we can say that x is also 75 degrees. Let's consider our example number 2. In the figures, circle D is congruent to circle J, and SC or arc SC is congruent to arc TO. Find the line segment SC or chord SC. So let's start from the given that SC is congruent to OD based on our theorem. Then we can substitute that AY minus 1 is the same as 15Y minus 15. Then, okay, add both sides by 15 and subtract both sides of the equation by 8Y. So we have negative 1 plus 15 is equal to 15Y minus 8Y. So I have 14 is equal to 7y. And divide both sides of the equation by 7. So we can say that y is equal to 2. Then we would like to find the value of sc. So we will substitute the value of 8y minus 1. And okay, substitute the value of y which is equal to 2. So we have now 8 times 2 minus 1. So therefore we can say that sc is equal to 15 units. Let's move on on our theorem number 2. So a diameter or a radius is perpendicular to a chord and then it bisects the chord and its arc with the same endpoints. So let's consider our circle C. So in the circle C, AR or line segment AR is the diameter and FT is a chord. If AR is per perpendicular to FT, then arc FR is congruent to RT. Let us consider problem number 3. In the circle H, um, SR is perpendicular to EA. So we have here SR is perpendicular to EA. Find EA if the measure of HE is equal to 5 inches. So again, if HA is congruent to HA, we can say that HA is equal to 5 inches. Then, EA is equal to HA plus HA. We can say that EA is equal to 5 inches plus 5 inches. So therefore, we can say that EA is equal to 10 inches. Let's move on to our problem number 4. Find R W S E if Line segment or chord WB is congruent to chord BE. So let's consider the illustration on the left side. So here, WS or arc WS is equal to 3x plus 10 degrees, while arc SE is equal to 
8x minus 5 degrees. So again, so we will find the value of x so such that SE or arc SE is congruent to WS. Then substitute the value of 8x minus 5 is equal to 3x plus 10. Now solving for x, we subtract both sides of the equation by 3x and again add both sides of the equation by 5x. So that's why we have 8x minus 3x is equal to 10 plus 5. Simplifying it further, we have 5x is equal to 15. And divide both sides of the equation by 5, so x is equal to 3. Now that we know that the value of x is equal to 3, we will move on to our step number 2. So we would like to find out the arc WSE is actually the same as arc SE plus WS or arc WS. Substitute the value. So we have 8x minus 5 plus 3x plus 10. Simplifying it further, I have here 8x plus 3x is equal to 11x. Negative 5 plus 10 is equal to 5. Now, we will substitute the value of x which is equal to 3. So we have here 11 times 3 plus 5. So R WSE is equal to 33 plus 5 or R WSE is equal to 38 degrees. So that ends our discussion. So again, this is Teacher Onin Digusman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.